now what I will do, I will just put it in the batteries. Matt, just a second. So if you want to find us, just put some email uh, demo breakfast and then there's a Zoom link and then it won't ask for the code. So the batteries, they work by pair. Those are uh, dead or smart batteries. They will monitor themselves uh, to make sure that they are not overcharged, that they are not undercharged, and also they communicate the status uh, while the drone is flying. <laughs> so we just plug them in. Uh, So now what I do, I plug in the telemetry link on the tablet so that the tablet can communicate with the drone. And then now you should be able to see on the screen that Wingshot Pilot is being opened. Cool. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new flight plan. We give a name to the flight plan. And what's important as well is to select the camera which is installed onto the drone this morning. So the, drone, the camera is the Sony RX1. You can see that you have multiple choices. You can put different cameras into the drone. Uh, you can swap them directly on the field. So I select the RX1 from Sony. Then I am asked if I want to, in to import a KML file. So if I would have an area that I want to specifically map, I can get, get it through a KML file that I can import. But I don't have it this morning, so we just go ahead. And since the drone has been powered, and can communicate with the tablet, you can see on your screen now that there is this uh, uh, Wintro One logo, which is the position of the drone at the moment. The first thing we're gonna do now is just to set the on point. That's the point where the drone will take off and land. And I will just uh, change two parameters. The first one is the transition direction. So the drone takes off vertically and then transition horizontally and goes into a certain direction to gain the operational height for our, uh, for our mission. So I would just make sure that I'm not going to like increase or that kind of obstacle. And then I can also change the transition height, which by default is 50 meters. I will keep it as is. You lost me, right? Okay. Then the flight plan is deployed. I will go ahead and check the flaps. So you can see that the drone will make some checks, making sure that the flaps are ready for the flight. And then I am asked if I am fit to operate, uh, if I am physically and mentally fit. So I say okay. <laughs> then I check that no people are closer than five meters. So I think it's fine. And so we are ready for takeoff. So if you want to take pictures or videos, you can start now. I will hit the play button. And then I will slide to confirm, and the drone will take off. So it will take off up to 50 meters, and at 50 meters high, it will transition. 
and you can see on your screen that it's going into uh, the loiter circles to loiter that until it reaches 60 meters, which is our operational high. So still going up. Now the drone is at its operational height and we'll go to the beginning of the area we want to map and we'll go for the first flight line. this morning will be uh, approximately a 10 minutes flight to map 10 hectares. Say something about the settings of the camera. Is it uh, doing the settings automatically, or did you do it before? So. Uh